Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Nisi of Nisi Loves Beauty. Before we begin, take a moment to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely let anyone that's interested in the beautiful things of life know about the channel. Now I know that it's been a while since I came back and had a chance to talk with you guys. I've been a little bit under the weather so I wanted to give my voice a chance to kind of come back so that you're not struggling to understand me. I do have asthma, so I'm completely nasally anyway. Um, so let's get into this. I just want to see where it goes. This routine today is going to be very simple. I'm going to try out some products that I actually love. And I'm coming to you today is Monday night. So I just wanted to take a chance to come back to you guys. Let you know that I haven't forgotten you and as well bring you a beauty look. Now that it's Christmas time, a lot of people are getting into possible sales. I know that Sephora has a great sale during this time. Whether you be a beauty insider, a very important beauty, or rouge, I'm rouge, if you spend a lot of money, <laughs> then they offer you great discounts. Um, this year, I believe, I'm getting... $25 off of 50 so when it comes to buying palettes like the Too Faced, the Urban Decay, the Smashbox Collection, that additional discount is excellent. And this discount is in addition to the sales that they have where you would have 20% off, 10% off, or 15% off depending on the beauty club that you belong to. So this is a great time for you to take um, advantage of certain sales. So let's start. I don't want to ramble too much. Um, I love talking to you guys, as you can tell. I'm not very shy, whether it be in front of the computer or in person. I am bringing you into my home, hopefully welcoming you to an experience where you can get to know me some. And... We'll go from there. So today I'm going to do some moisturizing as always. Um, I'm almost out. This is my L'Oreal Age Perfect Glow Renewal Oil. I love this oil. It adds a little mm, to your makeup look. I'll only be applying just a little. Let's get that in. It's not very runny as you can see. But it offers such a great glow to your skin. And I really like that. Although I have oily skin, as I said before, I like moisturizing aspects of different products. You really just have to try what works for you. Sorry, I'm looking away. But you have to try what works for you. And even though you have oily skin, it's important to moisturize your skin. You just have to try different products to find what would work well with your combination skin, oily skin, dry skin, normal skin. All products are different, so you really just have to try them. And Sephora is a great place to do that because you can go in and ask for samples. So... I don't remember how much I pay for the oil. It might have been like a $15 range for a drugstore. But you can try different products, like the next one I'll be using. I'm going to use my Photo Finish Primer Oil. Primerizer. <laughs> this, I believe, is $42. But I like a combination of products because, like I said before, I do have combination skin. So it's only in the T-zone and it's sometimes really dry around my nose area. So this is good because it's a primer. What you will find with most um, people that have combination skin we do mix products. It's because we're drier in certain areas, oilier in others, and you wanna make sure that your makeup is long lasting. So when it comes to, sorry, this is the Revital Lift by L'Oreal. It is the Miracle Blur. I've used this quite often on my channel. I love the product in places like my T-Zone. Although I apply moisturizer, as you can see, it smooths out my skin. And I really like that in areas that I might start to get very oily. And then, you know, you don't want your makeup to crease, run, or not last all day as you would like. So that's definitely something that you want to look into. I've already primed my eyes and I've already put down some finishing powder. But what I will do right now 
It's going with the Laura Mercier, the brown tint, and I'll lay that over my eyelid as a base. I try to get in closer because I know a lot of times you want to see the eye look, but I want to make sure that it still stays to where you're able to see me. So you want to make sure that your eyeshadow has a great base to work with because that will be very important when you're starting to lay down your colors and then you want your look to actually be, as I said before, cohesive to where your eye look is able to blend the way you would like. Now this is the Morphe M441. I'm gonna take and try new products like I said before. This is my Tarte Poppy Picnic. And with this, you have a very beautiful range of colors. I want to use this for this shade right here. And I want to lay this down as my initial transition shade. Now look, use the mirror here so I don't have to keep looking away from you guys. But you want to lay this down as the transition. I like to stick to warm tones, but I'll be adding some color today just for a change. But when it comes to a warm tone, you definitely can lay that down all over the eye. It's a little bit of fallout. But you want to lay down a simple base. So when you try to, sorry, get my Urban Decay palette. When you try to blend in your colors, you'll be making sure that they blend seamlessly. I broke my mirror, but I would show you this. This is the Vice palette. I'm going to try to keep the mirror out the shot. Look at these colors. It's the original Vice. So we'll be playing with some colors with this look. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, Better. And I'm going to use the same brush. With this shade, I want to lay it in my crease. Now the M441 is very good for blending out your colors. And it's very... It's very dense but flowy at the same time. So you're able to have the color application be concentrated and not very blotchy. And when it comes to colors, you always want to make sure that you take your time with the colors. So add little and build it up. It's hard to erase color once you've already applied it. But there's a trick to that too. So if you guys want a video on how to do that, I'll definitely show you that as well. This is a very pretty rustic orange. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but it's very light with my complexion and I love colors like this. Like I said before, I'm a warm baby. I love warm colors. I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush that came with the Vice palette. As you can see, let's see. Since I say we'll be a little bold today, I'm going to use this very thin fluffy in, and I'm going into this shade right here. It's the brown shade. It's called Delete. And I'll pick up a little, but I want to go into my crease, and I do it on the side. Maybe it's better. I'm going to add a little bit to this outer V here, just to add some depth to the actual look. And I'll look down here. And I'll let you see. Now this won't be so much a smoky look. But I'm glad not to have hooded eyes. But if you have hooded eyes, there are tricks that you can use. And pick this shade up a little bit at the time. And as I told you guys before, make sure that with your looks, that where you first apply your brush is where you're going to get the highest concentration of color. So build it up little by little. And once we get the eye look, I will zoom you in so you can see all of the depths. I'm not sure if you can see it now. But let's see. We'll play with a little bit of color. So I think I'm going to pick this color right here. It's a really, let's find it. It's right here. And I hope it's picking up. This shade here is called Underhand. I'm going to flip it around, and what I'm going to do, this is the shade that I'm going to use to actually pack on the color, and it's going to actually deepen this look. So I'm going to pack this on my eyelid. It's like a berry plum purple, 
and it's a very pretty color. And I like to do my eyes first, just in case I do have fallout, it won't mess up my look. And that's always something that's really good to do. And again, you wanna add the color little by little. This way, you won't end up with a more vibrant patch of color in one place versus another. And I know a lot of YouTubers like to do one eye off camera. Since I'm just getting into posting videos, I'll try as much as possible to post. And I like the get ready with me's because you guys can start to see my technique and how I do my makeup. And now that I'm looking at this palette, I do see that I will be blending another color. I see a very pretty fuchsia color that I want to blend into this. Put that brush down. And I'm going to pick up the Morphe again. And this color here, it's very light. But what I want to do is make it more vibrant. This color here is called 1985. Oops, I almost dropped it. It's a common here on YouTube, I'm sure. 1985 is this fuchsia color right here. So I want to pick this up with a crease blush brush and I want to blend that with that shade that I just laid down. Just want to make it a little bit fun. You know, when it comes to color, I'm not afraid. So, you know, with my outfit being black and white today, a purple and a pink would just show up so beautifully because the more vibrant your eye, the more simple you'll want your look to be. I'm gonna take my Eco Tools and brush off the fallout. The Vice palette has fallout, so that is okay. We'll dust that off a little, and we'll go in, and we're gonna blend and blend. You wanna blend and blend. Blending is a very, 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 very important part of eye looks. And you'll see a lot of times that when we lay down colors, I really like that. When you lay down colors that you might be a little bit weary of or colors that you might be a little bit afraid to use, you'll find that you can lighten them up with a lighter taupe or you can deepen it with a plum or purple. I'm going to take a nice little fluffy brush I got this one off of eBay, I do believe. I'm gonna go back into my Poppy Picnic and I wanna pick up this shade right here. Where is it? It's right here. It's like a dusty rose. And I wanna take that shade and put it right under my eyebrow. I like to have a very light color under the brow bone because it helps to make your eyebrows look very nice. And you guys probably can't tell, but my eyebrows are not done. I'm growing them in, but that's the power of makeup, right? So let me turn my mirror a little. I wanna also add this to add a little bit of contrast in the inner corner of my eye look. I'm gonna put like a highlight color there as well but I just want to bring out this look as much as possible. Now let's see. Hmm, I do see a shade that I would like to try. I have, um, this I believe is a Naked, yeah. This is my brush from the Urban Decay Naked set. I wanna go in with this shade Robbery. Try to keep the mirror out. This shade Robbery right here. It looks like a very kind of silver um, metallic gunmetal shade. And I want to place that in the inner corner. And I'm going to pat that with the flat side of the brush. Use it just to brighten up my eye. And when it comes to colors, once you learn the color spectrum, it's a lot easier to pair together. So I've used like a gunmetal shade. I've used a pink, a purple, and I've used a plump to deepen my outer eye. So when it comes to colors, 
don't be afraid. You can always, you know, mix them, match them, and do what works for you. Now for my eye look, I have the depth and the color that I really want right now. So what I would like to do, I'm going to go in with some liquid black liner. This is the NYX Collection Noir Liquid Black Liner. I know it's upside down. So with this, it has a very thin type felt tip. Sorry. So I'm not perfect with eyeliner, but I get a lot of practice. And just in case I mess up, I'll go back in and fix it with the Rimmel London Fat Liner. So trial and error when it comes to makeup, it's okay. There's always a way to fix everything. My mirror is right here, so I'm going to look away for a moment. I don't usually talk during this part because when it comes to your eyeliner, you want to make sure that you have a precise line. And a lot of times when you're not perfect at doing your liner, you don't want to mess it up. But it's always best to start out little. It's always best because you can build it up into a thicker line if need be. And as I said before, I do elongate my eye to actually do the line itself. And then I come back to fix it. And this color is very, very liquid. So I wouldn't suggest it for someone that's new because it can bleed into your eye. But I really do like this color. Really like it. Sorry guys, I'll come back. Very nice wing. Just making it a little bit thicker. Now what this is good for, this wing itself, the felt tip is very light. So when you're doing the look, you have more control. And I'm sorry, this color is Bello 6. I'm sure that's black. <laughs> now we are going to go into foundation. I'm going to use a little bit of my Clinique Beyond Perfecting. This is an amber. I do also switch between this and gender because I'm getting a lot lighter. This is my summer shade, but I'm going to mix it because I know that my Maybelline Fit Me is also a lighter shade for the fall time now, and it's actually winter. I, when it comes to foundations, I like to stick to more warmer foundations. I would never lean toward a foundation that's red because I have a yellow undertone. So when picking a warm shade, I definitely can pick a color and add it with the variety of foundations that I own to blend into being my perfect color. When you pick foundations and you go for a foundation that might be more red or a foundation that might be more orange, it's really hard even with concealer to fix the color pigmentation. Sorry. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and this is in 340, I do believe. Yeah, 340. I range between 340, 350, 340 and 355. I'm mixing these colors, so as you can see, my Clinique 2-in-1 is more warm, and this is my more yellow shade. And you always want to make sure to blend into your neck to make your foundation more seamless. And I will need a mirror, so let me get my Tarte mirror. I don't wanna be one of those girls <laughs> that misses a spot, cause you can always see it on camera. 
and with the shade I know it oxidizes so if it's not looking right now like being my perfect shade it's okay because I do like to conceal and contour so I'll be able to fix any imperfections get my chin again like I say I do lean on the side of warm because my undertone is yellow and I know I'm changing my my voice but my undertone is yellow so I do make sure to get a shade that's more warm versus one that might make me look oh, oh. <laughs> Halloween tutorial style let's fix that perfect so I do lean towards a shade that's more warm because by me being a yellow undertone it really helps when I start to highlight and contour if the shade is more warm I have a better place to work with versus a shade that might be more orange because then when it oxidizes you're more dark or you look tan or you look like this <laughs> let's be honest um, I will go in and we all know my my favorite when it comes to my Maybelline this is 30 Cafe. This is my favorite concealer. I love this concealer, guys, because of the coverage as well. I love the concealer because it doesn't crease. And I'm going to be blending this concealer with another one of my shades from Maybelline. I do like and have a variety of products. And sorry, guys, I am looking into the mirror. But I do have a variety of products that I like to use to bring my looks together. And you know, this is a process that I like to do. It might not be for everyone, which is fine because I, yeah, I did. I'm going to blend this in some before I add the lighter color. And with this Real Technique sponge, I believe it's like $6. It's really a great investment. I will say also, I do have so many beauty blenders. I just refuse to use them because this is so much more economical. So I like to go with the more affordable option. Because with your beauty sponges, you want to make sure that you replace them. Because they can develop bacteria when not kept right not cleaned right properly should I say now this is my Maybelline Asia Wind this is in honey I like to use this as a lighter option to brighten under my eyes at times I do look very tired and this helps once you lay down your powder to set it it just opens your eye look and it opens your eyes. It make you look more vibrant to the most exhausted. Make sure I'll bring you in so you can see that. And it's just a hit extra of color. Now I'm going to set this with two powders. First, I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier. This is the brown powder that they came out with, the translucent. It's not the clear um, white. I think that one is a neutral, but this is the more warm translucent by Laura Mercier. As well, I have my Sasha Buttercup. Now, the reason why I like setting it with both is because depending on your foundation, and I did mix two, as you remember, when you add your concealer, you want to make sure to kind of neutralize your powders the best possible. And I'm going to let this sit here for a while. But you want to make sure to neutralize it the best possible to ensure that when you're laying down your foundation that your concealer itself doesn't stick out too much. Now since I used a highlighted color under my, under my eye that was a little bit brighter than normal, I wanted to ensure that the color that I added to it provided me with a nice warm look 
brighten but warm. I don't want the under eye being more highlighted than the actual look itself. I know you've seen before people have added concealer and when they take a picture in the flash, it doesn't look as natural. I want to look as natural as possible with my looks, with any look that I do, whether it be work appropriate, all day appropriate. I'm actually going to go to the grocery store. So this look is perfect. It's really simple. I don't look like I'm going to the club. I would probably wear this to the club as well. It's going to sweat off anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face. This is my NC50 Studio Fix. Yes, by MAC. And I got this brush off of Amazon or eBay. I don't remember. I bought more than one set. But I want to set everywhere else outside of my highlight. And tone down any areas that might look a little bit too dark since I did miss my, mix my foundation shades. And I will be contouring. So with the contour, it'll go back in and add more depth to my face as well. And I'll brush this around here. And then I'm going to brush off my highlight as well. Just want to make sure everything is set. I do like that my makeup is long wearing throughout the day. We will take, this is a stipple brush by Wet n Wild. And I want to just brush off the excess powder. I do slightly bake when I do this process. Not too much. Now it's the winter time. I don't have to worry as much with my skin actually sweating a lot or my face being as oily as normal. Let's see. I'm trying to see what brush I want to take for contour. I do have my favorites as we know before. I will try this. This is by Q-I-V-A-N-G-E. And this is a very soft contour brush. And I will be using this with my L'Oreal and Infallible. This shade here, it's a darkest shade. I think it is 720. I'm not sure. It wore off. But it's the darkest shade. I believe it's shade Coco. I do believe that's the shade. But I like to put that in the hollows of my cheek, the perimeter of my hairline, just to add back in some dimension to my face. I don't have a lot of dimension normally, so when I'm doing my makeup, I do have to add that back. I used to have deep cheekbones, but now it's just a little. As you can see when I smile. <laughs> In the hollows of my cheek, my hairline. And then here. Now a lot of times women like to contour under their chin. I won't be doing that today. Because I'll be just a little simpler in my look. But I am going to go in now with the blush shade. And I'll take this brush here. I like it's very tapered. So I use it to also dust under my eyes for my um, setting powder. But we'll go back in to the Tarte and this blush shade. It is, it looks like it does have like gold specks in it. But it's a really pretty rosy color. It's not too pink. It's not too mauve. It's just perfect. I like that just kiss glow that you get from adding blush that makes you look like you're smiling. <laughs> it's the rosiness of the cheek, should we say. And when it comes to blush, less is more. But since it is the winter time, I don't highlight as much. I do, but it depends on the day. And do you see the gold specks? This blush is so pretty. And I keep adding just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I think it goes really pretty with the eye look. So <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this. Now for lips. 
I subscribe to different boxes and I really enjoy the products that we've been getting. I believe this came in a boxy charm. Um, this is the ColourPop Hello Kitty. This is the Ultra Satin Lip. It's called Hello Pretty. Look at this color. It's very pretty. This pink is kind of a mauve. I would say it's kind of a, a light pink blush mauve. And I'm going to be using a NK Auto Lip Liner. This is AA11 Plum. Now, I like to use a darker liner. It's my preference when it comes to doing my lips because it gives me the definition I need. And as you can see, it's really pretty. I have a thinner upper lip, so I really like lip pencils to kind of give me a defining space. Look at this color. I love this Zofa applicator. This is the Ultra Satin Lip, so let's see. I like this. Now, I might not even need a lip gloss with it. It's moisturizing. I know a lot of time when it comes to the ColourPop, people were kind of wondering whether or not they were too dry, that you would need to use a scrub. I actually like this formula. It's very moisturizing. I am a fan of lip glosses, but today I won't wear a lip gloss. I do like the way that this is all turning out. The final step is some mascara. Let me get my Benefits Roller Lash to finish off this look. I like applying lashes and I do sometimes apply those. But since it said today I want it to be a more natural look. And this roller lash really separates your lashes beautifully. I love Benefit products. I do have a lot of their products for like the um, brow shapes. The Benefit Brow. I really like that product. Again, I apologize for looking away. I'm looking in my mirror just to make sure I'm separating my lashes. And providing a little of definition to my bottom lash. They are very light. Very, very light. But long at the same time. So guys, let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit. So that you can see the finished look. It's dried down. I really like this. So, here's the eyes. Well, guys, I won't zoom you in that close. I apologize. This is the finished look. I thank you for getting ready with me today. Um, definitely look forward to many more videos and just giving you a little glimpse into my world. Well, like I said before, don't forget to hit that notification button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure to like comment and subscribe what you would like to see on the channel until next time i look forward to speaking with you guys and it's been such a great time till my next video make sure you stay blessed it started to snow here in illinois so make sure you're careful and you guys have a wonderful week bye